Making an ArcGIS hub is easy, and in this episode, I'm going to show you how to customize your theme and understanding the workflow in ArcGIS hub. I'm Jonathan Fletcher. I teach geography and geospatial technologies at Port Coburn High School in Port Coburn, Ontario, Canada. I teach GIS. First, let's log in to our ArcGIS subscription and open our hub. Select the app waffle from your subscription homepage and click on the hub widget. Open your hub. Your hub will automatically open with the customized toolbar open on the left. From here, we are going to click on theme. The theme tool allows you to adjust how your hub will appear. Colors are given in the hex color code, which starts with a number or a hash sign, followed by a combination of letters and numbers. White is number sign followed by six Fs. Black is number sign followed by six zeros. Here's a quick demonstration which shows you what some of the colors represent. To make things easier for people viewing my hub, I like to stay consistent with the colors of my text and backgrounds. If I have a dark background color, I use a light color text so there is a strong contrast, so the message pops. On my hub site, I alternate the colors that I use for the background and the text. It gives it a nice flow. Before we go much further, I need to show you the workflow of saving drafts and publishing your hub. If you view the published hub, it will be the default layout that was present when you first created your hub. Any changes that you make to the original template exist as a draft. Make sure you save your draft frequently. To return to your draft from the published site, click on Edit. Note the unpublished draft label at the top. For any changes that you make to your hub to be public, you will need to select Publish Draft. There is no undo button in hub. Instead, if you make a mistake while in draft mode, your best course of action is to delete the draft. This will delete any changes that you made since the last time you saved. I added this image to my draft. I'm going to save it. Now when I view the published, the image isn't there. That's because it still exists in draft mode. For it to become visible on my hub, I need to publish the site again. Once I view the published site, the image is there and it's all updated. Keep up the great work. 